The day has come. Starbucks has released the details of its Web3 loyalty reward program. Here's a look at what they released. Starbucks Odyssey. You go on journeys, you collect stamps, which are like loyalty points, but better because you own them, which means you can sell them and you can redeem them. Let's talk a little bit about it. Their current loyalty rewards program, you collect stars, earn things like free drinks or treats, and those points live in this app, die in this app, must be redeemed through this app. Now that Starbucks is putting their loyalty rewards program on the blockchain, the world has opened. You're probably familiar with this partnership, Starbucks and Target, so who cares? The blockchain cares because now Starbucks users that have a high collectible score, say you've acquired a ton of stamps, can get an airdrop from Target that says, hey, because you're such a loyal Starbucks customer, we're gonna offer you 15% off today. Booyah. And maybe Starbucks is partnering with some awesome musician that's releasing some cool music in their store. And they decide that for all the users that have a certain collectability score, they get this free airdrop of music or maybe something cool like tickets to a concert. And so you have all these collectability points, but you don't care about that artist. So what do you do? You go sell them on their marketplace because you own your loyalty points. It's a lot to take in and I don't want to be too overwhelming. And you don't even have to have a crypto wallet to participate, which, oh, by the way, didn't I call that on like several TikToks ago? I did. This is going to be a powerful time for people to start to understand these concepts, to ask questions, to think about how they can use the blockchain to improve their business models, their fan engagement, their consumer loyalty. And I look forward to answering all your questions and uh, hope to see you uh, on the blockchain soon. Peace.